What's up guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are getting ready to head out to do our four day drive back to North Carolina. This is our second year doing this trip and it's by far my favorite trip we take every year. It'll take about three and a half to four days to get back there. Everyone is wide awake in the house. I know I could barely sleep last night. I was just so ready for the trip. And I'm just feeling ready for the day. I'll probably crash around two o'clock and end up falling asleep. But we're getting ready to go head down to the RV in about 30 minutes. Okay, so fast forward about one hour, guys. We are on the road right now. Some really good news, guys. One of my buddies let me a MacBook Pro, so this is definitely gonna give me a chance to edit and make videos on the road. Right now, I'm stuck at, when we get at a truck stop at about 11 o'clock at night, I'm gonna have to run in, uh, upload my YouTube video, schedule it, do all that, and that's how I'm gonna try. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'm gonna do my best. Like I said, guys, we are on the road. My dad's got his GPS. It says if we were to drive straight through, we'd get there about Tuesday morning around 6 o'clock. We've been driving for about another hour now. And so far, it's been pretty smooth. Chris and Carly both fell asleep. And I've just been re relaxing playing Xbox. I feel a little bit tired, but otherwise, I feel pretty good. Our goal for today is to make it to Wyoming. Last year, we didn't make it that far on the first day, but we also left a little bit later. So I think it's very possible that we will be able to make it to Wyoming today. So we just got into Nevada. Eastern Oregon and Western Nevada, all they do is look like this. You can see for a pretty long time. About two hours away from I-80, so I'm hoping between sometime between now and then we can get out and stretch. I mean, it's really nice to be in the RV and all, but it gets like a little claustrophobic in here. So we finally found a place to stop here in Battle Mountain, Nevada. As you guys can tell, it's really, really windy right now. Last year when we came to the same gas station, this was the same place that we got our first postcard. Because last year we got postcard to every place we went. My favorite, Milky Way. This sounds really good right now. So we each got we each got our little snacks. Carly got ice cream. Krista got an Allen later. And you guys have no idea how good it feels to actually stretch our legs. The state that we hit is going to be Utah, and I hope we get there in time to see the salt flats before dark. Uh, last year we weren't able to pull over and see them, but we drove by. Okay, so we are still in Nevada right now. We're playing some NASCAR right over here. It looked like it might storm a little bit outside. I know last year when we were in Wyoming, it stormed a lot. So I'm kind of hoping for a little thunderstorm. I think that'd be kind of cool. So it hasn't really stormed yet. It still looks like it might storm. If you're going down I-80, we're coming up on the Rocky Mountains. There's still lots of snow on them. That's one thing I'm really looking forward to in the next few days is we're gonna see a lot more things on the second and third day. First day, you don't see as much. For the last 45 minutes, I've just kind of been laying down. I'm really starting to feel tired from waking up early this morning, but we're almost at Utah right now and the time is about to change. I got my mom's phone right here. It's 4.48 right now. And within the next 12 miles, the time is gonna change, so it'll be six o'clock. Guys, the time did just change. Now it's 5.49. We're almost at the Great Salt Flats. Okay, so we are here at the Great Salt Flats. It's right here. One thing that's really cool about this is the Bonneville. This is where racing mostly started. They used to race out here on these salt flats. This is just really, really cool. I've, I've drove by here. I've never got to actually walk out and see. Looks like there's lots of water with it. It just goes for a while, both directions. Lots and lots of salt. This is just, oh. Carly, I dare you to eat some of this. I don't think I want to eat it. I don't want to get sick. Honestly, it would have been so cool to be back when these guys raced on here. I mean, these things just go for miles and miles. This would just be so awesome, especially even if we just raced on them. It's like drag racing. So here's the sign here right outside the salt flats. Guys, it talks about the land speed records and how fast everyone went here at the Bonneville Salt Flats. So that's pretty cool. Now it's time to go eat some dinner. I'm really, really hungry, especially with this time change. We can only go four more hours before. Four hours to get through Utah, though, so we can get to Wyoming. So now, after going to the Salt Flats, we are coming up on the Great Salt Lake. All right through here is the water for it. And then all way out there, right here, it's kind of scattered everywhere. There's still some Salt Flats. And then over by these mountains is the lake. It's one more angle of the Great Salt Lake with the beautiful sunset coming in. I thought Utah has been super cool with the Salt Flats and the Salt Lake. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes from our destination for tonight. We're going to be staying at Little America. We stayed here last year on the way back. Sorry right, guys, this vlog was a little all over the place. It was kind of an experimental vlog, you know, you do this today. And it was like between one hour in between clips, it felt like. I'm definitely gonna try to daily vlog every day. I don't know how it's gonna work with the Wi-Fi and all that, trying to upload the video, but I'm gonna do my best. We're here at Little America. We're heading over to get some ice cream now. We're in like a whole truck center yard. This is gonna be a good way to end off the first day. Like I said, we're here in Wyoming. I would love to live in Wyoming one day. I just really like this place. Two swirls, but mine will just be a cone. Actually, I made my cone. I'll take a cone. And 
So we just got our ice cream. It's pretty cold outside right now. We're gonna head back to the trailer. We're gonna get some rest and be all ready for vlog number two tomorrow. So we're back inside, guys. We're getting ready to go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and share this video. Sorry for such a chaotic vlog all, kinda all over the place, but I'm definitely gonna make sure the next few days go really smooth and I'm gonna try to make sure the vlogs really flow. But thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to get back to North Carolina and go racing. And I will see you guys later. Deuces.